As you guys know, there's many connections between the 1979 oil spill and the 2010 oil spill. I'm sure most of you have seen this video right here. If you have not seen this video, please look in my favorites because it's very, very informative. Anyways, when I was looking up the oil spill a while back, I noticed an obscure article. This article was referring to the arrival of King Tut. Apparently, in March sometime of this year, King Tut and some of his idols and friends sailed through Ground Zero in New York City. Now, when I saw this article on King Tut, I thought that was a little weird that here comes King Tut, and then a month later, there's an oil spill in the Gulf Coast. So I decided to do a little digging and figure out if King Tut has ever graced us with his presence before. So naturally I went looking online and turns out that King Tut did indeed sail through the New York Harbor in 1979. So thinking that was very interesting, I decided to research and figure out what happened in 1979. And sure enough, in 1979, there was a Gulf oil spill that occurred sometime after the same deity that appeared this year in 2010 left the shores of New York. Very shocked and surprised about that. I um, pulled up some articles about the King Tut incident and I'm going to try to share them with you, but coincidence? I don't know. What are the odds that this Egyptian god would sail through two times in 31 years and both times that he's come through New York there has been the worst oil spill in history. Definitely interesting. Anyways, here is the article on King Tut's arrival. Get ready to walk like an Egyptian. King Tut is on his way back to the Big Apple. The golden age of the pharaohs is coming to Discovery Times Square. The 25 feet tall black and gold statue of the jackal-headed god associated with mummification and the afterlife in Egyptian mythology floated on a barge past the Statue of Liberty to arrive at the South Street Seaport. Watching the deity sail through the Narrows in the Hudson River on Tuesday was reminiscent of taking a trip down the Nile River in the Egyptian era. This year, to mark the occasion, the former mayor welcomed the deity and said he looked forward to seeing Tut's treasures again. The Golden Age of the Pharaohs has more than twice the number of artifacts. 50 of Tut's 3,000-year-old treasures, from his gold crown to his cosmetic containers will be on display. A featured artifact will be a colorful 10-foot statue of the pharaoh found at the remains of the temple of two of his high officials, described as the largest image of Tut ever unearthed. An AGO director said, I always say that Egyptian antiquities are the heritage of the world and that we are their only guardians. Tickets went on sale Tuesday for an exhibit of artifacts from the boys' pharaoh's tomb. Last time Tut was here, in 1979, we had more than 1.8 million visitors. Biblically speaking, if you welcome and allow idols and deities to come into your land, and you parade them around like gods, there will be consequences. Coincidence? I don't know. You know, I don't really believe in coincidences, but could this be one? Sure, it could be. But don't you think it's a little interesting that in 31 years, New York Harbor has only seen this idol, because that's what it is, two times. And both times it's seen this idol, within a couple months of it going on display, there has been a major catastrophe of having a Gulf oil spill. Definitely something to think about. So regardless if this King Tut thing had anything to, to do with what we're seeing now, is irrelevant to the fact that doing this is blatantly against the Lord. I believe for a time, 
God has overlooked many of the sins committed against him that took place in the United States of America. But I believe that time is coming to an end. Either way, what we're seeing now in the Gulf is horrendous. What this is doing to the ecosystem is unimaginable. The amount of fish and birds that are dying, the fact that the water is turning red, the catastrophe that is happening now is definitely of biblical proportions. Now I'm not saying revelations of the water turning red is being fulfilled right now, but I am saying that the United States of America is under God's judgment. And with all these birds and fish dying, and the beaches being plagued with the sickening oil, and the fact that the chemical that's in this oil, benzene, can literally turn your lungs black and look as if you've been smoking two packs of cigarettes a day just from being breathing in the air, and the fact that if things continue, which I believe they will continue, I don't think this is going to stop at least in the next couple of months. They're actually considering evacuating parts of Florida and considering getting the elderly out. This is not a light matter whatsoever. And many, many people are becoming sick and many animals are dying. And it does not look like it's getting any better anytime soon.